Byron Bay. Really soft sand here, so I thought I'd just do a little video on how to play the buried lie. G'day golfers, Glenn Haynes at Aussie Golf Pros, and I'm on the beach at Byron Bay. You can often get a buried lie in soft sand, so let's just go through the different technique that you might need to escape from that really ordinary lie that we have. Right, nice and deep. <laughs> it's gone very deep actually. So hitting out of a buried lie is all about understanding the bounce, understanding your sand wedge and how it works. So with a bog standard ordinary bunker shot, we open the face a little bit to increase the bounce. We wanted the bottom of the sand wedge to glide through the sand and not dig in so much. With the ball being so low in the sand, we want exactly the opposite to happen. So instead of opening the club face to increase bounce, we're actually going to hood or close the club face a little bit and that's going to decrease the amount of bounce. That way, the leading edge is going to dig into the sand, get lower, and that's what we want, so we can get that sand wedge underneath the ball and get it to pop up in the air. The difficulty about the bunker shot when it's buried is that the ball is going to roll. It's going to come out with dead spin or maybe even a little bit of overspin, top spin on it, so the ball's going to roll when it gets on the green. The main thing with these is obviously to get it out of the bunker and give yourself a putt, see if you can get it to stop on the green. Sometimes that's not even possible. Let's get it out of the bunker. So we're gonna set up to this differently. I'm gonna get a little closer to it. Now the reason for that is, is I wanna get the toe of the sand wedge digging into the, into the sand. So if I can get a little closer, that toe's gonna to dig in and that helps me to get upright. When I'm closer to the ball, I can pick the club up nice and steeply and hit down more. And the more we can hit down into the shot, the easier it is for that ball to pop up. I don't want the club to contact the ball. So that's why I'm digging down so much. Remember the ball is underneath the sand here. So, I'm closer to the ball. I'm not opening the stance up for this one because my face is actually, club face is actually closed. So I'm, I'm gonna aim slightly right at my target, putting a little hook shot out of, this, out of this lie, closing the face, and I'm gonna get quite steep. Really wristy action. I'm gonna hit down into it. A couple inches behind the ball. We're gonna have to get closer to the ball than your ordinary sand shot, ordinary bunker shot so that we can really pop up underneath that ball. All right, let's have a go. There it is, popped up nice and high, flew about six meters out of that bunker onto the green and running. So it's not gonna to get too close to the pin unless the pin's further away, but at least we're out and we're having a part. Let's go through that one more time. You can see there that that divot was quite deep. I needed to get it deep so that I could get underneath that ball. Right, closer to the ball, close the face a little bit. I'm aiming slightly to the right of my target. Wristy upright backswing, chop down into it deeply, a couple inches behind the golf ball. I'm not belting it. You can see there, it was firm, but I'm not absolutely you know, jumping all over the shot. And we can pop it out. Out she goes, running, but it's out of the bunker. That's how to get out of a buried lie. Are you the best golfer you can be?